Final stage in modifying the CLD79 to a full blown uh, LD S9 uh, sorry, uh, player. Uh, it, it has all uh, the electronics from uh, the originally uh, original LD SNE player. Uh, as you can see here, um, the two seconds. Um, this is the internal uh, uh, electronics for the original Pioneer uh, CLD79, uh, <clears throat> which I ripped out of the player. Uh, in this particular pl player had some problems with its uh, INO functionality. Uh, it had lost the ability to actually change um, change sides uh, on a disc while spinning. So when I tried to like uh, change, um, yeah, to turn to turn the pickup around to the other side, it usually just stopped um, in the in the what what are you gonna call it? Um, the pickup matrix or whatever, <laughs> whatever is going to call it. Anyway, it don't it didn't work. The play worked fine, but this was the main cause of the issue. So uh, replacing all the electronics in a CLD seventy nine is not worth it, uh, price wise. I think uh, so. Completely pointless. So what I did have, I had a broken. Uh, LDS9, which was uh, shipped from Japan. Uh, most of the mechanical work in the uh, LDS9 had been broken in transport, um, even even the the optical pickup. So I didn't really find any reason to try to actually repair it anymore. But what I did have, I also had a broken LDS uh, CLD. 79 as I was talking about so um, <clears throat> What I did was I took out this uh, electronically assembly and I put it in this player um, No, I'm, now I'm confused. No, I took the S S9's internal electronics not this one but the S9's electronics and put it inside the CLD 79 because uh, f because both uh, chassis are completely the same, except the 79 had, um, as you can see here, AB switchers for side and direct CD. The LDS9 uh, do not have any of these three buttons actually, uh, and the LDS9 doesn't even play CDs, so these are just idle nods at the moment. Um, and to continue, um, the 79 and the LDS9, they use the exact, uh, exact same um, uh, optics. Most of the mechanics are completely the same, uh, except for a few minor um, things because the 79 can play CDs and the LDS9 cannot. So I had just to change one part and a few cables to like disable the CD functionality uh, from the S9. <clears throat> and of course the most important part uh, of what uh, the S9 player uh, are uh, two seconds here. This is a huge mess. Um, Well, okay, back to it. So, uh, this uh, thing right here is the CLD79 video processor board. You can see it's quite slim, uh, nothing really to it. Uh, um, unfortunately, uh, there's so many screws, and I'm not going to bother actually opening up the entire inner workings of this player. But what I can tell you is that uh, this uh, board right here is the um, LDS9 video processor. 
uh, but on the back side of it it's let's see here this is uh, the 79 let's see is is like this thick the LDS 9 is more than the double of the size of it uh, so a lot more electronics in there and of course the pictures of the LDS 9 is also extremely much better than the 79 um, but um, also because it has a lot of uh, a lot of another technologies for bettering the picture <clears throat> so uh, also, you guys on the LaserDisc Forever forum, you um, uh, well, now I actually forgot what to say, but uh, anyway, I just finished my last complete last modification of this player. I hope everybody knows or remember the display color. Uh, on this panel, uh, on the original uh, Elite series, it's like brownish or uh, orange brown color, while the LDS knee, as it's uh, LDS nine, sorry, knee is nine in the region. But anyway, uh, the original LDS nine had a silver chassis, which made it also uh, practical to use a light color. On their display uh, so instead I saved this panel from the broken s9 uh, s9 player and today I went back in and I changed it to the its original panel so it's easier to differentiate between the s9 and the super cool LD CLD 79 um, modded player now before I start anything up um, the front panel all the electronics uh, in the front panel that um, uh, yeah, every, all the electronics were also quite different from the um, 79 between the LDS 9 like how the remote control would react if you wanted to change um, which kind of uh, which kind of um, noise reduction you wanted or anything? Because the first time I tried it, I got the uh, CLD seventy nine display when I tried it, even though everything else was S nine inside. So I have to change the electronics also inside this panel, uh, and that's why there's no more like LED uh, for it being on because that was only a feature. Uh, that wasn't a feature either on the S9 uh, but today I just changed it so let's just hit the on button uh, and as you can see the display is now bright white and as it should be as a S9 player so I'm quite happy about that modification now I can finally rest all the crosstalk problems I'm having with the pickup is gone uh, the only thing I really have to do now is uh, complete my power modification back here and do some more um, soldering uh, to complete it. But except for that, everything is perfectly at the moment. You can open it up, you can have a see inside what it looks like. Uh, let's see if we can have a picture of the pickup itself. There we go. There it is. The yeah, the pickup, which is a common pickup actually for most of the newer designed LD players. You can find spare parts for in so many machines. You know the D seven o four, D five o three. Uh, of course, the CLD-99 you can use, you can also use spare parts from, from your CLD-79. Um, yeah, but I would 
suggest everybody to look out for a broken LDS9 and use those electronic parts to create your own cool modified LDS9 slash Elite slash CLD79 machine. Uh, I doubt there are any player like this out there. Maybe some have done the same, same uh, modification. I didn't have any. I didn't have any tutorials or anything on how to do this. I just had a free day and I had to do something. But last but not least, I have to thank uh, the biggest laserdisc uh, madman there is, and that's Curtis Barr. He can answer any question. He knows everything about laser disc players, and without his help, this wouldn't be possible. So, thanks again, man. And I hope everybody learned something about modifying uh, the CLD79 player. <clears throat> I will also put up some uh, video shoots on how it plays and everything like that on a later, later date. But this is just some technical babble babble. And of course, for, for Christ's sake, uh, <laughs> excuse my English. I'm Norwegian and English is not my native language. So, thanks again and have a great day.